China is a country grappling with extreme weather this summer, and it's leaving behind a trail of death and destruction. Torrential downpours and landslides hit the country's south last month. At least 17 people were killed and tens of thousands had to be evacuated. And now in China's northern regions, the sweltering heat is not only unbearable, it is threatening livelihoods and will have long-term economic impacts. In neighboring Japan, the mercury recently hit 150-year highs, gripping the country in a nine-day long heat wave, with temperatures tipping 35 degrees. Extreme weather from unbearable heat waves to devastating droughts are being felt from across the world. Monsoon rains have caused disastrous floods in Bangladesh and India. In Africa, prolonged drought has left millions on the brink of famine. An unseasonal heavy rain and flash flooding has hit much of the east coast of Australia. In Italy, a protracted heat wave has led to a drought in the northern region and is likely to slash agricultural output by a third. The government has declared a state of emergency and set aside $37 million for relief efforts. A new study by scientists that tracked the weather over the last 20 years has found a link between climate change and extreme weather. We know that pretty much all heat waves across the world have been made more intense and more likely by climate change. Um, and we know from looking at um, the impacts of these, um, particularly in places like Europe where we've got good data, that this has a serious impact on people's health. Um, and it also causes kind of economic disruption because people struggle to focus. People working outdoors can't work as effectively during heat. They also found that a heat wave that had a one in 10 chance of happening is now three times as likely. Um, we have heat waves in, in Europe and uh, we have heat waves in Saudi Arabia at the moment. We have heat waves in China right now. We have heat waves in the US. And this is exactly what, what sort of the review paper also shows. We just see the frequency of heat waves has gone up so much. Research also showed that storms are now less frequent, but cyclones will be more apparent in the central Pacific and North Atlantic, and less common in the Bay of Bengal, Western North Pacific and the Southern Indian Ocean. Scientists are warning that the impact of climate change continues to be felt. People can expect more heat waves and droughts, exacerbating food shortages and natural disasters. Ultimately, these will have devastating consequences for the planet.